good Saturday morning. Today I'm coming to you from Clearwater, Florida. It's a beautiful day in January. The beaches are empty as you can see behind me. Uh, I've got a couple little friends with me. There's one right there. The birds are extremely uh, friendly up here. They just come right up to you. I guess they're used to people. But uh, today I'd like to talk again about something that just loves to irk the shit out of a lot of people. And forgive me if I can't, if I'm not on frame all the time because I can't see the camera all that well. But I'd like to talk to you again once more about my president, Mr. Donald Trump, and the wall for immigration. Now, I just had a very interesting conversation on Facebook with a guy who is a, I consider a very intelligent man. He's a nice guy. Uh, I have no problems with him. He's got his head up his ass about a couple things, such as immigration and stuff like that. Uh, his philosophy was really simple. Uh, we don't need a wall because we don't spend enough money on people in our own country. Well, which I tried to explain to him, if you don't have a wall, you spend more money in the long run because of the immigrants that come here illegally. Sorry, I'm walking into an area I've never been to. I've never been to Clearwater in my life, so I'm in some mangrove field here now. But if you don't build a wall and you keep the problem out, you will constantly have the problem of throwing money at the problem. Okay? Simply put, immigrants come in here and they live for free. Why is it up to us as Americans to open up our borders and let fucking dirtbags from some third world toilet come to our country and live here and live a good life and we, fit, we foot the bill for all their bullshit? Why is it up to us to give them free cable TV, free living, food, housing, the whole deal? Why is that our problem? Since when has that become our problem as Americans? I don't get it. I don't get it. So you build the fucking wall, okay? That's not going to keep everybody out. I know that. I'm not, a, I'm not thinking that this wall is going to be a miracle and it's going to keep everybody out. It's not. We all know that. They're going to tunnel under in places. They're going to find ways to get around it. They're going to find loopholes. But it's still going to take a large percentage of the problem and eliminate it. Why is this so hard for fucking demo dummies to understand? I don't get it. I don't get it. Why is it people like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, why do they think that it's our country and our reasoning to do this? Why do they think this? Well, in my opinion, the reason they do it is really simple. They want votes. And if you have some dirtbag from a third world toilet come into this country and all he sees is Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer going, we love you here, come here, come here, come here, here's free, 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 free. They're going to go, well, you know, we better vote for this guy. Even though we can't vote, we'll figure out a way to make them vote Democratic. The Pelosi-Schirmer way, which is the Democratic way, which is bullshit. Now... As I've stated in many videos before, I did not vote for Donald Trump. I don't really care for the man. He's not the worst person in the world. Sorry, but the sun is right in my eyes. He's not the worst person in the world. He's not the greatest guy in the world. But let's face it, the man has done more in two fucking years than Obama did in eight. And if you don't think that's a true statement, why is Obama and Hillary going around now taking credit for everything that's going good in this world. Simple. Because they did shit. They wanted to ruin the country. Obama was put in office to totally ruin this fucking country, to create racial tension, to cause uh, strife in the country between people, to, to separate us, to, to divide us. Hillary was supposed to continue that, that realm, or that reign of terror, that democratic bullshit terror. And it didn't work because thank God, sorry, thank God, 60 some percent of the country said we're done with this bullshit. And that number is growing every day. There's more and more people starting to realize that these Democrats are doing nothing but ruining the country. And, and they're slowly trying. And I mean, now they're talking about taking gun rights away. I want to see you walk down south, 
some backwoods Tennessee area, look at some hillbilly fucker out there and say, give me your gun. You know what you're going to get? <laughs> Die trying, motherfucker. That's what you're going to get. Because my family's from down south. So I understand this. If you went to my, my relatives' houses, they live in Mississippi. If you told them we were going to take your guns, you would not leave there alive. Because that is our God-given right. That is our constitutional right to have our guns. But the Democrats don't want you to have guns. Why? Because if you have a gun, you can fight back. And they don't want you to fight back. They want us dumb. They want us dumb, dependent on them for everything that we could possibly depend on them. Medical, food, housing. That's the way they want it. A little sightseeing plane up there. I don't know if you see it. It's beautiful out here in Clearwater. I've never been here before. As you can see behind me, look at the water. I see people out there sailing, having a great time. The city over there behind me, on my right shoulder there, the city of Clearwater. But, um, you know, these people who are against the wall, I, 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 I fail to understand your logic. I mean, I, I like to put it to them like this. If you're at your house, and some guy just walks up to your house, walks in your front door and says, I'm living here, are you just going to go, yeah, sure, come on in. Got a back bedroom there you can use. Stay as long as you want. No. You're going to call the police and say, get this dirt bag out of my house. Same thing for the country, only on a bigger scale. How, why, and how is it our responsibility as American citizens to take care of some dirt bag from a fucking third world country? It's not our problem. That's where the problem is. We have so many... Well, not a many, but we have a few people who got their heads up their fucking ass who think we shouldn't have borders, that every fucking piece of shit in the country, uh, from another country should just walk through the goddamn border free of charge and live here, and we pay for it. How and why? Do, how do you come up with that concept? How does that even, even remotely make sense to you people? I, I, I don't get it. I really just don't fucking get it. But I got to get back with the family. Coming up to 10 minutes here. I'm trying to keep these things short. But bottom line, build the fucking wall. Donald Trump 2020 all the way. Let's hope that this continues in this, this realm that we're going. That the world is getting better day by day. Thank our president. He is my president. I don't give a fuck if he's not your president because he's mine. That's all I care about. Because I like what he's doing. I didn't vote for him. Don't particularly care for him. But I like what he's doing. Build the wall. Trump 2020. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time I make another video. See ya.